It was my day off from work, so I decided to go to the lake. I found this spot, lay down a picnic cover and just enjoyed the view. This is the best way for me to relax. And I want you to enjoy the beautiful scenery too. It was time to go back home and I decided to try this new recipe which I absolutely love. I first discovered it last year when I was in Latvia and I haven't really found it in the British supermarket so I decided it was time to make it myself. So I researched this recipe on different YouTube channel and finally found the right one with the ingredients that I was able to source in England. The recipe is fairly easy to make but it tastes so good. It's just marinated tomatoes but you would be surprised how incredible it is. For the herbs and spices you can pretty much use whatever you like what I really had to buy as an extra was, of course, some glass jars and the citric acid to make the marinade. This process is very important as it helps the hot water going into the tomato and kind of cook it, but of course not fully cook it. I experimented with different mix of herbs and spices to see which would be better. Okay, they go a bit. And once ready, in the jars I put some boiling water and let them sit for half an hour. After that, I will reuse this water, boil it again, put sugar, salt, citric acid and put it back into the jars and close it.
so I want to give you a little update on the vegetable patch in the garden. In the previous videos it was when I just started, so that was in June and now it's nearly end of August and I want to show you what grew and how it grew. Of course the salads are already gone. Because I don't really eat salad, I let them. Um, I didn't put them again, but here there are some fennels. Some, some of it grew a bit better, some not so much. And well, now it needs a bit of water, so it's a bit dry. The one over here, it looks not bad. Of course, it's not as big as the one that you buy at the supermarket, but I never really grew fennel so it was quite interesting to see how it, how it is and uh, what I noticed it grows best in cold weather so it was good until like June the first month when I put it down but of course it started to be a bit more hot and it stopped growing it doesn't like hot weather at all now let's move further here we are the tomatoes and i'm quite glad very happy that actually it got to become red it's taking quite a while to like as you can see only the first two are quite bright red the other ones are getting red but as you can see guys it has quite a lot of tomatoes they're just green <laughs> i think it's it's not hot enough for them to get red for example in italy where i'm from um, we even have to cover them sometimes or at least that's my what my parents do in the vegetable patch they cover them from the sun because the sun is even too much that it's gonna burn them here in England it's I think it's not enough sun next year if I want to if I want to have them here it would be best in a greenhouse that keeps them warmer to be fair we only had like mid of July that has in August that has been like really hot it's not a lot of time for them to grow Moving forward, we have a pepper. I don't know if you can see, but it's growing quite a bit. And there are some other peppers, like chili sort of thing. And unfortunately, they remain hidden by the tomato plants. So I think also that didn't really help. Over there, you can see a little pumpkin is growing. I have to say, they really done well. As you can see, this bit Apart from some cucumbers, it's all pumpkins. And this one is growing <laughs> huge. I know, it looks, it looks a bit like a jungle, but eventually when the tomato plants will stop producing and will take them away, and of course there will only be pumpkins. And I'm thinking of putting something that can grow in autumn still, we will see. Look at that, how pretty it is. And as I was saying, the other plant is cucumber. As you can see, it always has plenty of little cucumbers on. Some of them are nearly there. Oh, that one is getting, that one is nearly ready. It's a bit of a shame that it, it didn't produce more than that. Like, it would have been nice to have fresh cucumbers every day, but it probably has like five a week or something. It's, it's not bad. It was, you know, as a first try, I'm very happy, very glad of the result. And unfortunately, also it happened that I actually done something like seven little plants in the propagator, but when I then put them in the ground, I had these slugs problem. They ate four of them for plants, so I only been left with three. Of course, 
only three, they don't produce as much as it would have been with seven. You know, if I didn't do the vegetable patch, I didn't know about these lugs that they literally ate so much stuff at the beginning. I couldn't even put the salads on the ground and I dealt with them. I was about to forget. I also have a plant of courgettes, yellow courgettes. This one and the tomato. This one I already bought the plants at the garden center. So they were quite ready, let's say. Pumpkins, I've done them myself from the seeds because that one, of course, they are more of an autumn crop, so they had time. But unfortunately, the tomatoes that I have done, I don't know if you can see a little bit of tomatoes down there. It's the one that I've done from seeds. And yeah, they barely ready because, of course, it was a bit too late. We had something like one a week or the courgettes and it was really nice really happy of the result as i said i will look into something to put this autumn and i will update on on it thank you for watching and i see you in the next video mm -hmm.